I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this one. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, but something needs to be said. Um, these, 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 these protests. The shooting, the killing. I don't know what to say. The government. Yeah, the government is evil. Yes, the government has failed in many ways. Yes. And killing your own people. There's just no sense to it. There's no. There's no sense to it. But the government is the people. We are the ones who become our own government. I don't know who said this, and I'm just flying off the bat right now. So, there's somebody who said, you get the government that you deserve. Yes, I understand the protests. No, I do not have a side in the protests. I don't, I'm neither for nor against it. I agree with the demands. I understand that. I spoke with a classmate from way back when. We were in the same class, more or less, in Ife. And um, he. He was affiliated with one of the political parties. This was shortly before the election. And uh, when I asked what he was doing, he said he's a politician and that he was going for a caucus meeting and so on and so forth. And it crushed me. It crushed me. We have become that which we say we are fighting against. How can you say your job is a politician? We all understand what that means. That means you're not working, and the money you're spending is money of the nation, of the people. How did you earn the right to earn that money? Somebody just gave the money to you for what? Okay, you cannot be, as a politician, funded by politics. It doesn't work that way. The money has to come from something you are doing, from a seed you are sowing, from work that has gone into something and then is coming back to you or from the donations of the people who trust in you so who donated to you how did you become a politician and you are earning money which money are you earning we are our own government we are the ones who become that thing we are detesting so much and we have all heard that statement power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely if we want a change in this nation, we have to do one better. We have to change. It cannot be frivolous. It cannot be flying off the handle or off the bat. It has to be a deliberate breaking, brokenness, a change. <clears throat> the Bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin if the people have not changed our government is not going to change we may seem to have achieved some kind of victory right now but there's a way that cements right onto a man at the end thereof are the way of death are the ways of death there are two young guys in the bible from different ages there was a 16 year old king but there are two very young kings, Joash and Josiah. Joash, I think, was seven, Josiah was eight. Both of them did marvelously well, as long as they were listening to the high priest. When the high priest died, both of them went astray. Joash went into idol worship. Josiah went to a battle he was not supposed to go to and died there. I think in their 20s. Let me make it very, very clear. 
as much as I am impressed, to be honest, by how far our youth have come. These guys are creative, they are innovative, they are hardworking, they are, they are pushful. You know, what we, what we have done is that we've just adopted the riots that is from America, the, the, the protests from America, and we are trying to make it our own. That's not how it works. The protest in America is run by Antifa and BLM, neither of which are of God. Neither of which are of God. Black Lives Matter supports, uh, I mean, rejects the family. Black Lives Matter supports uh, homosexuality and gay marriage and all, LGBTQ and all those things. Listen, human beings have a right to be human beings. Do or be whatever you want to be, but don't bring that into the work of God. Antifa is just looking to destroy the country. They call it Antifa, and that's just how they use smart words. So don't do that to us. Don't, don't do that to yourselves. Let's not do that to ourselves. Okay, if this end SARS movement protest in Nigeria is of God, then let it be of God. It has to come from a place of brokenness, of surrender to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Neither Nehemiah nor Daniel committed the sins that led them into exile. But when they prayed, their prayers were a cry, acknowledging their own faults. Every time you think that you are holy, righteous, or better than the other person, every time you think that where you stand is more holy than where that other person stands, you miss it. Every time we do that, we miss it. I am not better than my peers. We are all, the Bible says, there is none that do it good, no, not one. We are all together gone astray. Okay? And that's why Jesus has to come. So it's Jesus that we need. And we also do not need to push away our elders. There have been riots, there have been protests in this same Nigeria. When Abiola died, when Kudira died, when, when, when June 12 was suspended, there have been riots in this land, and some people have been through it before. Some people have been fighting this fight for a long time and they have learned wiser ways to go about it. Just because you are young, just because you are smart, just because you are strong, does not mean you should throw away your elders. There is a way that it should be done. Let Holy Spirit lead. Let Holy Spirit lead. Let Holy Spirit lead. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Listen, let's remember this though. I'll end this. Let's remember this. Be careful. I know we are all angry, I know we are all sad, but be careful. What we are fighting against is not flesh and blood. And the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. As a people, as the children of God, let's unite our voices. Remember, I've always said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. I'm not talking to everyone right now, I'm talking to those who are God's own people. The children of God, if we will humble ourselves and pray, and pray the right prayer, pray according to the will of God. We pray that God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those that hate him flee before him. We pray that the demons behind bloodshed, the demons behind human sacrifice that have perpet that have operated in Nigeria for too long, that they be bound, that they be destroyed, that they be removed from our land. We pray that God intercede and bring peace into our country. The way, the only kind of peace that he can give. Please be careful, okay? Because God never promised world peace. Let's understand that. But the kind of peace that passes understanding, that's the kind of peace we're looking for. Yes, we need healing and health in our nation, but that, that change is you. You are that change. You are the person who is going to begin to do the right things so that you can bring up children, who are going to become what you are looking for. We've got to start now. So I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. Share, like, whatever. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.